Welcome to the Glenhurst Art Teach video series. In this episode, Jordan helps us examine different ways to find, enjoy, and understand public art. What is public art? Public art is art outside art galleries, museums, and the artist's studio. It can be seen in public spaces like parks, roads, courtyards, and other spaces that are in public. It is meant for everyone. It is free for everyone to view, experience, and or think about. It transforms everyday places into something special. I wonder how long it took to make this. I also wonder what it means. Public art is often found in a specific place to make that place more beautiful or give it more energy, but it can also stand out as something different or unexpected. For example, public art can give us color and life, but like other forms of art, it may also question our beliefs about the world and our place in it. Public art can help bring communities together and express their unique identities. It may also tell us something about who we are, what we value, or what our history is. In other words, a public expression of community's culture. It looks like an interactive piece. I think the artist wants the community to interact with it. When we see public art, we can often find ourselves asking questions. Like, why is it here, in this specific place? Who put it there, and how does it affect the space around it? Can we touch it, walk around it? What does it mean? What is the artist trying to say? Wow, this is really cool. Let's go talk to the artist that made it. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jordan. What is this? This is so cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is an aluminum painting that we have about halfway done. So we've just done all the grinding and now what we're going to do is we're going to collage in, take little pieces and collage in all of the foreground. So we've done all of this grinding and slowly get finer and finer lines to make it look like it's further in the background. And then we're going to collage all the houses and the bushes and the cars in the foreground. So Dave, what do you like about making public art? Well, Jordan, I think my favorite part is that I get to make things that are really huge. The other thing that I really like is that it's out in the community, so people get to see it. How is public art different from art you see in galleries? Well, I guess the big difference is that lots of different people go to see or can see the art when it's in the public, versus I think only certain people go into the gallery. What do you want people to take away from your artworks? Well, I think the first thing that I want is I want people to notice them. Sometimes I go out to where I have a piece of public art and I'm amazed at how many people just walk right by and don't even see it. So, but of course, depending on what the piece is, usually there's different messages or different themes. And I guess I'm really hoping people think a little bit. It changes, changes their day and it makes them think a little bit. I heard you use recycled materials. Where do you get them? That's right. I, that's actually the, one of the most important things I do with my art practice is I recycle. I use recycled materials and old things that people are throwing out. I get them from a bunch of different places. Uh, I do go to the scrap metal yard and go and get stuff there. I also have people who just collect materials for me. Once I found an old walker on our front porch with a yeah, with a little note that said, maybe this could be used in your artwork. Awesome. Where do you store all your material? Ah, uh, I store it all in this barn. Do you want to see? Yes. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my treasure trove. So, yeah, this is where, this section of the barn is where I keep all the aluminum. And you can see, I also keep some of my old pieces that haven't sold or that I have kicking around. I like this one, especially. That's colorful, eh? Yeah. 
Um, what, what happens with these is that I try to use all colors that I find. So if you look around at all the material in here, you can see there's all different colors. Oh yeah. And so if I need a blue, I might use some of that piece. There's some old highway signs at the back that are green. Wow. And they all made it into here. You can see this is a highway sign piece because it's got that reflective cool. kind of quality. So this is all made from recycled aluminum. All this stuff that you see here, yeah, pretty much. Like signs. All Some are signs, some are siding for houses. Cool. And in general, I try not to paint anything. So these are all the colors that I find. And that's why I have so much of it. Because if you look, you'll see there's all kinds of different colors. Cool. And then it's kind of like my box of crayons. When I need a yellow or a blue, then I go looking for the right color. It's nice too because you have to use what you have. Sometimes you have like this idea, oh, I want to make it in purple, and you don't have purple, so you got to use what you got. Thanks so much, Dave. This has been really fun. You're very welcome. It's been fun for me too. You can find Public Art in City of Brantford, Brent County, and Six Nations of the Grand River. Now when you're walking down the street or riding your bike in the city of Brantford, take a closer look at what's around you. You may see something you've never seen before or know how to understand it better. Thank you for watching and supporting your art gallery, Glenners. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the subscribe button below. Give us a like or visit our channel for more videos in the Glenhurst Art Teach series. You can also stay up to date with everything Glenhurst at glenhurst.ca.